You are listening to part 47 of the podcast series, How Successful People Think. Here's a thinking question for you. Am I continually considering others and their journey in order to think with maximum collaboration? Putting unselfish thinking into action. One of the things you can do to put others first and to develop and maintain unselfish motives is to set unselfish goals for yourself. For example, think about some things that you could do to help others that will in no way benefit you other than to give you internal satisfaction. Set an amount of money to give away this year, anonymously if possible. Decide on a number of hours a week or a month to serve others or find a ministry or cause that you believe in that you will help to succeed. Many times the most rewarding acts of unselfishness come when you obey an inner sense to meet a need. During the coming week, tune your intuitive radar to look for needs among people. When you perceive a need and feel prompted to help, follow through on that inclination. An investment in a person ultimately pays the highest return because it can result in changed lives. Think about what you have to invest in another person. What skills do you possess that someone would benefit from learning? What life experiences have you had that can help another person? What resources do you possess that ought to be shared? Once you have figured out what you have to give, then look for someone with need and potential who would be glad to receive it and invest in that person. The next time you put together a deal or develop a professional relationship, think in terms of win-win. If both you and the other person would not benefit, then don't go through with the deal. And once you've determined that it will be good for both of you, make the effort to guarantee that the other person wins first.